So what does a visualization specialist do? Well, the fun answer and short answer is um, we show people anything that you can put into words. Um, to go into more detail, essentially what it is, is um, vision. It's sharing vision. Um, I'm sure all of you, you've had uh, ideas that you've wanted to share with the world. I'm sure all of you have had thoughts that you wish you could explain, concepts that you wish you could elaborate on, you know, um, monsters you wish you could make, um, cool little, you know, figurines, or just like, in general, I think, ideas and making your ideas come to life. It's, it's really not the easiest thing to explain. Um, I usually use my portfolio to just kind of show that I can show anything. Um, and I usually go off of a description or just an idea. So um, this one is probably one of the more sort of fun and clear illustrations of this. Uh, it is also an illustration. So the idea for this was um, what would the world look like if you had an office space in zero gravity? where you could um, use, say, like, uh, magnetic uh, boots or something to walk on surfaces. So what would happen, right? So, you know, one thing that will happen is that you could use the floor, uh, sorry, you could use the ceiling as a floor, you know, in order to save up a little space. Some people would walk, and, you know, some people would just float. I personally would float, um, but, you know, walking on the wall also sounds pretty cool. You know, there would be no up and down and so on. And, you know, we, you know, a visualization specialist illustrates uh, these sort of things, you know, but also um, we do products, you know, we do, we take a physical real world product and then um, we show you what it can look like at its best. We can show you what it will look like before it's made based off of your CAD data and your modeling information. Um, we can come up with concepts for things that don't exist yet, you know, um, and so on and so forth. Really, at the end of the day, uh, 3D visualization is about showing something. Um, and it can be anything. So I don't believe in this idea of you know, like a boring visualization project. Um, I don't know if it's just because I'm a visual person, but, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll have clients come to me and they'll say like, oh yeah, this is not the most interesting thing, you know, to model or to, you know, light or whatever. And I, I disagree. I think anything and everything is, is interesting or it can be interesting. You know, I realize that I do a lot of sci-fi, but that's just because I'm kind of in love with space and robots and you know that's just space is cool man <laughs> you know what i mean but you know like i have a lot of product work and you know it's just like simple clear products you know but i think even simple products i think are super interesting you know like i have julie and i make i think i mean like this is this is a this is a faucet you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people would say, oh, yeah, you know, it's just a faucet. But I don't know. I think it's cool. You know, I think the soccer ball is really cool. You know, and um, I also think cyberpunk Afro robots are cool. <laughs> you know, I think cars are cool. I think aliens are cool. You know, rest in peace, Gagger. You were a rock star. You know what I mean? And so, yeah. Yeah, I show things to people, and as much as I can, I try to make things as interesting as possible, even though I don't actually believe in the concept of anything being boring. I think there is boring ways of looking at things. There is boring ways of rendering things, but um, I don't do that. So, you know, 